What's up YouTube, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to take a look at another lead code SQL interview question. This one's part of SQL 50, let's get into it. Now this one's called invalid tweets. It's part of the select section of the SQL 50 study plan. It's marked as easy, but there's a catch to it that I'm sure you didn't know. Actually, I bet you didn't know. So let's get into it. So yeah, this one is lead code number 1683, invalid tweets marked as easy. And our task is to write a solution to find the ideas of the invalid tweets. The tweet is invalid if the number of characters used in the content of the tweet is strictly greater than 15. So any tweets longer than 15 characters. You should return the result table in any order. And we have an example table called tweets, which has a tweet ID and content, which is the text content of the tweet. For example, input, we have tweet with ID one and ID two and one of them is longer than 15 characters apparently. So we just output that tweet ID. Sure enough, that sounds pretty easy, but I said there was a catch. So let's get into writing a solution. So we're gonna follow our basic order of operation here in terms of keywords, select from where, if you're new to SQL. So we're gonna select all we want in our output, which is the tweet ID only. So we're going to type out that field name or column name. We're selecting from this table called tweets. And now it gets interesting because we need to kind of filter using a where clause. We need to filter out tweets that are strictly greater than 15 in terms of character length. So that's what we want to keep we want to filter to that. So in order to do that, we need to kind of have a function that allows us to measure the length of a string or a text content. And yeah, that's something you just need to know. There is a function that a lot of people might know, which is called length. And if we supply the field or column name, in this case, content, that's where the tweet text is stored in that table. If we supply that, that function will just generate or calculate the amount of text characters in there. Yes, so that will give us the number and then we filter that to be greater than 15. So it says strictly greater than 15 and that should do the trick. So we run this and see what it gives us. It's accepted, we submit it, and uh, it's accepted as well. Now, there's still a catch to this, which I want to point out. So let's get back here. Now, let's take another example. So I'm gonna uh, copy this and delete it. Let's take my name as input and measure the length. So let's measure the amount of characters in my name. Yeah, so we can just select this without specifying any table because it doesn't take any data from a table. That's a cool use of checking something. So my name seems to be 16. So it would be an invalid tweet. Let's count the characters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 characters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So why does it say 16? Let's see, so that there is a different function to calculate the character length. It kept saying character here, but this is actually the function which is going to calculate the character length of a string. So interestingly enough, we get 15 here with this function. So my tweet wouldn't be invalid. My name wouldn't be invalid as a tweet here. So where's the difference here? So something to know is that there are specific characters which are encoded by several other characters. I don't want to get into too many details because I don't know all the details either. But in this case, 
it would probably be this special character in my last name, that umlaut, which is encoded by two characters. And you don't see that. Now this length function just takes the length of the string in terms of what it is used to encode it. It's based on the byte representation. And for this special character, the special U, they needed to use two of them apparently. Because if I change this back and make it Muller with just a normal U, it should both be 15. Let's check. Yes, yeah, so it's both 15. Now there are some other characters where they, where they even use three characters like a currency symbol, like Euro, which would have one for the one function and three for the other. So that's just something to look out for. I'd say guide is just to use just to always use character length and not the other function, but that's a common pitfall that people walk into and I didn't really know about either. So be safe and use character length. That's going to be it for this question. I'm going to go through all SQL 50 study plan questions on lead code. If you want to follow along, I have a playlist that you can follow to kind of study alongside me. And apart from that, I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.